Oman's hunters and jaguars provided air cover for their own soil from neighboring Yemen, who backed Saddam Hussein's invasion of Kuwait. Though not exactly being state of the art, especially in the hunters' case, these Omani jets proved that skill still mattered and you can't just rely on your BVR capabilities. Oman's hunter fleet was pretty unorganized to say the least. Most aircraft had been donated by Jordan and Kuwait, who had exchanged the type for more improved aircraft and had gifted the hunters to Oman. Receiving roughly 40 odd hunters, most of them would be providing parts to keep only around 15 to 16 airworthy. Various variants of the hunter were operated, which were the FGA 73A and B fighter bomber variants and the T 66B and T 67 two seater trainers. Some hunters had undergone recent modifications by Singapore Industries around the time of the Gulf War, which allowed the hunters to carry the ANALE 40 flare and chaff dispensers, and also the Lao 7A rail for the AIM 9Ps. Many RAF exchange or contract pilots flew these jets. In the work up to Desert Storm, Desert Shield, Oman's hunters and Jags flew with and against US Air Force, US Navy, US Marine Corps and RAF jets in training over Saudi Arabia. They also made simulated attacks on US Navy carrier groups. Now you may be thinking that the Hunters and Jaguars versus F-15Cs and Tomcats would be unfair, then you'll be partially correct. A few years prior, a pair of F-15Ds had visited Oman and had gone up against a pair of Hunters, and due to the lead F-15 making some horrendous decisions in his highly capable aircraft, which inevitably led the two Hunters hunting down the pair of state-of-the-art Air Force jets. Hunters are still used as adversary aircraft, most notably ATAC's Hunter fleet based in the US. Oman's role for Desert Storm was very limited. Neighboring Yemen, who seemed to back Saddam's invasion of Kuwait, were the only force that could threaten Oman. Therefore, Jaguars and Hunters flew combat air patrols over Yemen to deter any threats to Oman. The Omani jets also flew coastal patrol and maritime recce missions. However, it is still uncertain as to whether they saw zero action at all. Oman retired their hunters in November 1993. Omani Jaguars have some pretty wicked footage. You can see them ripping up the desert in these videos. The Omanis operated the Jaguar S and B, the export variants for Oman. The second delivery of the Jaguar Bs came with fixed refueling probes in the nose. All Omani Jags were finally retired on August 6, 2014, leaving India as the sole operator of the type. If you like Jaguars, you should watch this video on French Jaguars in Operation Daguerre.